Welcome back to How to Cake It. This is Yo's recipe box. I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite carrot cake. It's delicious. I don't use it for novelty cakes because it's not sturdy enough. It's perfect for my fall harvest cake with sauteed apples and plums and caramel and cinnamon buttercream. There's a link in the description below. Let's get started. I have oranges. What we're gonna do is cut up the orange into slices. I have four kind of small sized oranges. So if you have really large oranges, you could use two or three. It's important that you get seedless oranges and if you don't, make sure you pick out all of the seeds. Throw all of this into a food processor. You can use a blender, but make sure it's very well blended. What you're looking for is completely pureed whole orange. Sometimes it might look more liquidy than this if your orange was really juicy, but this is pretty much what you're looking for. And now we're gonna measure out one and a quarter cups. That's one cup. And that's a quarter cup. And now reassemble your food processor. And if you don't have one, get out a grater. I'm gonna put my grater attachment on my food processor. You wanna peel all of your carrots and then cut off the tops and the ends and then turn on your food processor and send them through the grater. Pull out your grater attachment and now measure two and a half cups of grated carrot. Half a cup, one cup, one and a half cups rather. Two and a half cups. Mmm, I feel healthier already. I have all my ingredients for my carrot cake laid out right here. I'm gonna start by mixing my dry ingredients together. Flour, brown sugar, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. I like to mix these dry ingredients with my hands. We wanna make sure to really cover all the brown sugar and when you run it through your fingers and you don't feel any more giant lumps of brown sugar, it's ready to go. We can crack our eggs into our mixing bowl. Get them all in your mixing bowl. And now add your pureed whole oranges. This recipe is definitely meant for a stand mixer. Sorry guys, it's just the power of this kind of a mixer will just help this emulsification. You wanna whip your eggs and whole pureed orange on high for about three to five minutes. My eggs and orange have whipped up into this thick mixture. And now what I need to do is slowly pour in the vegetable oil along the side of the bowl while it's mixing on high. Our eggs, orange, and oil are all whipped together beautifully. And now what we're gonna do is turn the mixer down to low or stir speed and add our dry ingredients. And after that, we're gonna add our carrots. I always like to turn my mixer up just for a little, about 20 seconds on medium speed, just to make sure my batter is nicely incorporated. Take out the whip. Look at that. You can tell from the batter how moist this cake will be. I always line my cake pans with parchment paper. I just roll out parchment paper, lay my pan on top, draw a circle around it, cut it out, and then I have the perfect circle that fits inside. I'm gonna weigh out my batter perfectly to fit between these three eight inch round pans. If you don't have a food scale, you can use a cup measure and pour each pan at a time. Or if you're really good, just use your eye and see, lay them beside each other. You can see when they're level. It's time to bake these carrot cakes. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350 for one hour. And always make sure to test your cakes. Insert a toothpick in the middle and when it comes out clean, they're ready. Don't forget to subscribe to How to Cake It. See you next time.